Today, I'm gonna to show you some of the best iPad accessories for students. Whether you're using an iPad for note-taking, drawing, gaming, or productivity, these accessories will help you get the most out of your device. So let's get started. First, let's talk about keyboards. A keyboard is essential for typing documents, emails, or messages on your iPad. There are many options to choose from, but here are some of the most popular ones. First up, we have the Magic Keyboard for iPad. This is the most expensive option, but it has some great features. It gives you an additional charging port, so you can charge your iPad and keep the iPad's USB or Thunderbolt port free. It also works well on your lap or on a desk, and it has a built-in trackpad that supports all the multi-touch gestures of the iPad. The keys are backlit and have a really nice feel to them. The downside is it adds some weight and bulk to your iPad, and it doesn't protect the edges of the device. Next, we have Logitech's Combo Touch for iPad. This is a cheaper alternative to the Magic Keyboard, but it still works really well. It has a detachable keyboard that connects via the smart connector, so you don't need to worry about pairing or charging. It also has function row keys along the top that allows you to adjust brightness, volume, or media playback. The case protects all around the iPad, and it has a kickstand that lets you adjust the angle of the screen. The downside is it's not very comfortable for lap use, and it might not fit some of the wider USB-C cables. Another option you have is to use a separate keyboard with your iPad, such as the Mac Magic Keyboard. This keyboard works well with the iPad and has a slim and elegant design. The only thing is that the Touch ID on the keyboard doesn't work on the iPad, so you have to continue using Face ID or Touch ID or your passcode to unlock the device. You can also try other Bluetooth keyboards. There are many Bluetooth keyboards available, but here are some of my favorites. If you need something ergonomic, try the Logitech K860. This is an ergonomic keyboard with a built-in wrist rest. It has a split design that allows you to align your wrists and hands in a natural position. It also has function keys and a numeric keypad. It's a large keyboard, so it's not very portable, but it's great for using on a desk. Now, if you like mechanical keyboards and don't want to spend too much money, then the Logitech Pop keyboards are fun to use. They have colorful designs and mechanical switches that give you a satisfying typing experience. It also has a long battery life and supports up to three devices, so you can easily switch between your iPad, computer, or phone. The only drawback is the built-in emoji keys don't work on the iPad. Next, let's talk about mouse options. A mouse can be very useful for navigating your iPad, especially if you're using apps that require precision or accuracy. You can use any Bluetooth mouse with your iPad, but here are some of the best ones. First, we have the Apple Magic Trackpad. This is a dedicated trackpad that supports all the multi-touch gestures on the iPad. It's very responsive and smooth and integrates seamlessly with the iPad OS system. It's also bigger than the trackpad on the Magic Keyboard case, so it's easier to use. The downside is it's quite expensive and not very ergonomic for long sessions. Next, we have the Logitech MX Master Series. These are some of the most popular mice for productivity and creativity. They have ergonomic shapes that fit your hand comfortably and have many buttons and features that you can customize to your liking. It also has side scrolling wheels that let you scroll horizontally as well as vertically. They support multiple devices and have rechargeable batteries. They're a bit bulky though, so they might not fit in every bag. And then we have the Logitech MX Ergo. This is a trackball mouse that lets you control your cursor by moving a ball with your thumb. It's very comfortable to use and reduces wrist strain. It also has an adjustable hinge that lets you tilt the mouse in two different positions for optimal comfort. It supports two devices and has a long battery life. I've been using this mouse for a long time and I really love it. And finally, we have the Logitech Pop Mouse. This is a small and compact mouse that comes in different colors and has a silent click feature. It's great for when you need a mouse that doesn't make noise or take up too much space in your bag. It supports up to three devices and has a great battery life. Now let's talk about pencil or stylus options. A pencil or stylus can be very handy for writing, drawing, or annotating on your iPad. There are many styluses available, but here are some of the best ones. First of all, we have the Apple Pencil. This is the ultimate writing and drawing tool on the iPad. It supports all of the features that the iPad offers, such as pressure sensitivity, tilt and palm rejection, as well as hover. It also has a smooth and precise tip that feels like a real pencil. It's quite expensive though, so if you're looking for a cheaper alternative, check out this next option. This is the Logitech Crayon. 
This is a cheaper alternative to the Apple Pencil, but it still offers most of the functionality. It has a flat design that prevents it from rolling away and a rubber tip that feels good on the screen. It also connects via Bluetooth and charges via USB or Lightning, depending on the version that you get. The only thing it doesn't have is pressure sensitivity, so if you need that feature, you might want to stick with the Apple Pencil. Next, let's talk about magnetic stands. Magnetic stands are great for lifting your iPad higher off the desk than a keyboard or folio case. This can make it more comfortable to use for longer sessions, especially if you're using a separate keyboard or mouse. There are many magnetic stands available, but my favorite is the Lulu Look Magnetic Stand. This stand has a strong magnet that attaches to the back of your iPad and a flexible arm that lets you adjust the height and angle of the screen. You can also rotate your iPad from portrait to landscape mode with ease. It's very sturdy and stable. Another accessory that can enhance your iPad experience is an external monitor. Since iPad OS 16, M series iPads like the iPad Air 5th Gen and the iPad Pro M1 or newer support external displays. This means you can connect your iPad to a larger screen and use it as a second monitor. This is really handy for being able to multitask. For example, typing an essay on one screen with research notes open on another. USB-C portable monitors are really cheap, easy to fit into a bag and easy to set up. Many use the connected device to power on the monitor, so it works best with an Apple Magic keyboard case for the iPad or using a USB hub. I've linked to some good portable monitors in the description. If you have a lot of video conferencing meetings or lectures, you might want to consider getting a USB webcam. iPadOS 17 brings USB webcam support, which means you can use any compatible webcam with your iPad. The front facing camera on most iPads is actually very good, but its positioning isn't great. It's often too low and too far from your face, which can make you look awkward or unprofessional. A USB webcam can solve this problem for you by giving you more control over the angle and distance of the camera. One of the most popular webcams of all time is the Logitech C920. It has a built-in stand so it can sit on top of your iPad or an external monitor, or it has a tripod mount at the bottom. It has a 1080p resolution and a wide angle lens that can capture more of your surroundings. It also has a dual microphone system that can reduce background noise and enhance your voice quality. It can regularly be found on sale, so it's great value for money. A personal favorite of mine is the Logitech Streamcam. This is a newer webcam that also has a 1080p resolution but goes up to 60 frames a second. It has an autofocus feature that can keep you in sharp focus even if you move around. It also supports vertical video, which is great for Instagram and TikTok. The iPad only has one port, so a USB hub is often essential if you want to connect multiple accessories at once. There are lots of cheap USB hubs available, but my favorite is the Uni 18-in-1 USB hub. This hub supports multiple inputs, including USB-A, Ethernet, HDMI, and a full-size SD card slot. You can also charge your iPad through this hub as well. It has a compact design and a braided cable that makes it durable and portable. Using external storage on an iPad is far more convenient these days, particularly as you have a better Files app, as well as Thunderbolt or USB-C ports on iPads. And if you're looking for a great external storage solution, then I really recommend these. These are the Samsung T7 drives. Samsung T7 drives go from 512 gigabytes all the way up to four terabytes. They come with a short USB-C or USB-A cable, allowing you to connect these to many different devices. The best thing about these drives is they are really, really quick. If you want to edit videos in DaVinci Resolve straight off one of these, you absolutely can do that. That's just how quick they are. Now, if you're into gaming, you might want to get a Bluetooth game controller for your iPad. The iPad supports a range of Bluetooth game controllers, and these work great with the iPad. You can play games from the App Store, as well as cloud services like Xbox Cloud Gaming. For this reason, I recommend Xbox controllers for the iPad. They are super easy to pair, comfortable to use, and work great with Xbox Cloud Gaming. The controllers come in loads of different colors too, so you can choose one that suits your style. For audio, it's hard to recommend anything other than AirPods for wireless audio. The AirPods Pro are outstanding in terms of comfort and audio quality. They have active noise cancellation and can block out unwanted sounds, and transparency mode can let you hear what's going on around you. They also have spatial audio that can create an immersive sound experience when you're watching movies or shows on your iPad. For those with a bit more money to spend, the AirPods Max are also amazing headphones that provide a killer experience in terms of listening to music or watching films and TV shows. They have an over-ear design that can cover your ears completely and isolate you from outside noise. 
They also have adaptive EQ that can adjust the sound quality according to the fit and seal of the ear cushions. They too have a spatial audio and transparency mode, just like the AirPods Pro. Now, if you want to use your iPad as purely a touchscreen device, you'll need a case to protect it from scratches. I'm a big fan of the official Apple Smart Folio case, which I have here. It looks great and doesn't add much thickness to the iPad. It also has a magnetic enclosure that can wake up or sleep the iPad when you open or close it. It also has two viewing angles that you can use for typing or watching videos. Now, if you want something cheaper but excellent quality, I'm a big fan of this magnetic leather folio case from Toro. It's a genuine leather case and has a flap to secure the Apple Pencil in place. It's just as thin as the official folio case and looks and feels great. One of my personal favorite storage solutions is the TomTok tablet case. It comfortably holds an iPad inside the Magic Keyboard case and has storage for all of your accessories. The overall footprint isn't much larger than an iPad with a thickness that is comfortable to hold in one hand. The elastic straps hold your accessories tightly in place and everything is easily accessible. It also has a soft lining that can protect your iPad from scratches. My go-to messenger bag is the Everkey Venue XL. This is a small messenger bag that I use to hold my iPad Pro and a 13 inch MacBook Air. It's a great quality bag and also has a few storage options for some of your accessories. It also has an RFID protected pocket that can keep your cards and passports safe from identity theft. Finally, let's talk about some software or subscriptions that can make your iPad more useful for studying or working. I highly recommend getting a Microsoft 365 subscription, which will enable you to get access to Word, Excel, and PowerPoint on your iPad. These are some of the most powerful and popular productivity apps that you can use to create and edit documents, spreadsheets, and presentations. They also have cloud integration that let you access your files from anywhere and collaborate with others in real time. It's often cheaper to buy an annual subscription, particularly through Amazon, as they often have these on sale. This works out cheaper than paying Microsoft a monthly subscription directly. Another must have is a Google Drive subscription. Google Drive is a cloud storage service that lets you store and back up your files online. You also get access to Google Docs, Sheets and Slides, which are invaluable for studying and working. These are web-based apps that you can use to create and edit documents, spreadsheets, and presentations. They also have great sharing options that let you easily share files with others and work together at the same time. So these are some of the best iPad accessories for students. I hope you found this video helpful and informative. If you did, please give it a thumbs up and subscribe to my channel for more videos like these. Also, let me know in the comments what are your favorite iPad accessories and why. Thanks for watching, and I'll see you in the next one.